So here we are in beautiful Lake Mission Viejo with my lovely wife Beth and Steve. I want to make sure I have the volume on. Oh, okay. So now you're making fun right now. So we just went to this live Facebook live video class and we spent like an hour making this great video and we posted it and it was like it was Charlie Chaplin because it was like in the silent era. We forgot to put the volume on. So now I believe we have the volume on, but really the focus of what I'm going to be talking about is the Orange County real estate market in July. Okay, Parents, where are we? We're in Oh, beautiful Lake Mission Viejo. Look at that. Steph, I like your boat. I like the, the camera on me if you don't mind. Okay? Sorry. I'm just kidding. No, it is beautiful. <laughs> and the lake is a lot more beautiful than me. But in any case, in all seriousness, um, the market is hot, people. And let me be specific and give you why the market is hot. So um, in July of 2016, in Orange County, there were 6,123 houses for sale. Same time this year, July 2017, there are 5,356, down 12.5 percent. So there's 12.5 wow. percent. What does that mean for us? It really means what for that? us that people are there's not a lot of inventory in the market right what now. What does that mean for everyone else? Well, it means for everyone else is that uh, the people who are selling their house are doing well, and even the people who are buyers are going to be doing well too because the why are buyers? Rates, well. Huh. Uh, you're I think my you're going to ask why are the buyers? Because if the if it's a seller's market, why are the buyers doing well? Is that what you're going to ask me, Beth? I was. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, interest rates really are close to historic lows, and the buying power is much better. And the, it, it it really appears like the trend of what we're hearing, and all the news is the trend is that interest rates will be moving higher in the next six to twelve months. So they keep saying that, but we're still relatively low interest rates historically historically exactly so another fact that I want to share with you is days on the market so in July of last year it was took 49 days on average to sell a house in Orange County in Orange County what do you think it was this year Beth uh, I don't know a lot less a lot less you got it <laughs> that's my gal uh, it goes from 49 to 17 oh my gosh that's I've never seen that that's before. crazy that's pretty crazy stuff so well what's um, what how does that affect me well it affects me for those people who are sitting on the sidelines thinking of selling you're gonna get top dollar for your house right now if you decide to sell and there are, there's demand built up so um, that's why so if I sell my house and it takes 17 days it's a lot better than 40 some odd days why I think well, it's better because maybe I don't have to clean my house as much okay maybe that's how you look at it Beth <laughs> I'm not sure that uh, other no people look into I just it. know that it's hard to have a house on the market because there's a I lot mean, of people through. yeah it's through intrusion your house in your life. It, intrusion I know I, I when I had my house on the market it wasn't that much fun so if you can sell your house in 17 days Great. On average. On though, average. On some average. Some people more. Some people even less. Right. But if it's depending priced on and it'll staging. Go. It's staging, and certainly we have a whole plethora of uh, people that uh, could support that. But in any case, and one other fact I want to share with you is um, median sales price. So in July of 2016, last year in Orange County, the median sales price was 738,000. What do you think it is in July 2017? It's more. It's more exactly. Beth. <laughs> That's why my gal is so smart. Seven hundred eighty-eight thousand. So wow. Um, so we've just made money this past that's year. That's about plus six point eight percent. Now in Mission. But Bay where has, do I go, Steve? I don't know. I I think like if I sell my house, I'm just not sure where I should go sure. because unless point. I go out of state. I know if I go out of state, I'm okay. Sure. But if I want to live around here, why would I want to sell my house? I we would recommend, I believe, is just scaling down. Go to a smaller house. Take out your equity maybe pay cash for the house or have a small mortgage and then you could scale down because a lot of times what we're seeing in this marketplace and, and there's a lot of people where they have larger houses if they're just wanting to scale down because they don't need the size of the house that they have now and they have all this built up equity and they want to put it and they want to protect it got it so that's, that's it for now that's it. enjoy your beautiful weekend and enjoy this wonderful hot weather we're having. Peace out. Take care.